tasting like a boss outside edition nighttime edition and i have kylo ren here he's not really want to do the review today i don't think why why i think i know why i actually think i know why i know why and that's because i have a bad record when it comes to apple flavored coffees i really do in fact with bones in particular i'm not always a big fan of their fruity flavor coffees I like their peaches and scream quite a bit. I just did the paranormal. I like that one too. But if you guys go back in time and look at my review, I think it was around last year of the caramel apple flavor that they had. I still have some left. I wasn't a big fan. I thought the cold brew tasted like a decent cold brew. Didn't taste like apple caramel. The coffee itself didn't really have a lot of flavor there either. And I wasn't really a fan of the espresso either. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. Because I wanted to look, I wanted to be good. I wanted to like it. And you know what? Tonight, guys, it's going to happen. I am going to have my apple flavored coffee. Okay, now, we're going to be doing the review. Yes, I know you guys want to see this review. I have had messages sent to me privately and publicly saying this is the one everyone's excited about. The apple cider donut. And you know what? I'm excited about it too. I really am. And I want to give a big thanks out to, I'm probably going to get your name wrong, sir. I apologize. Joe Jiu-Jitsu. Joe Jiu-Jitsu. If I got your name wrong, I'm so sorry, sir. He was very nice to let me know that he's already tried it. I will let you know he wasn't a big fan of the drip. And for cold brew, he said he cold brewed it for 18 hours and he didn't get much flavor off of it. And as you guys know, I brew sometimes between 18 and 24 hours. So I took Joe at his word that there wasn't gonna be a lot of flavor. And I remember when I did the caramel apple review, I only did it for about 24 hours, I believe at that time too. So this cold brew that we will be trying today, along with the other formats, just wait for it. It was more than 24 hours, I promise. Okay, so apple cider donut. Let's look at that cover. It's great. As I think I said with the paranormal, the, what I don't like about it is the icon so small. It is. I'm going to do a video where I kind of just line up these three bags for the fall flavors of 2023. I think you'll see what I mean. Like, they definitely pop by themselves, but when they're lined up next to each other, it sort of just like meshes away. Whereas other flavors that have larger icons and everything else really kind of pop at you to see what the flavor is. Here you kind of hunt for it. But that being said, I love their artwork. I mean, who doesn't? You got this guy. At first, I thought he was supposed to be the uh, the scarecrow. He's not. He's just some guy picking apples. At least that's what I think. Uh, selling apple cider in the background. So cool. And you got the donuts on the bush or the tree with the apples on it. Yes, yeah, the tree on the tree. And the back, apple cider donut. Get ready to fall, fall, with a capital F. Yeah. Get ready to fall in love with every sip notes of warm cinnamon dusted donuts and freshly brewed apple cider harmonize not my fault it's hyphenated harmonize perfectly to create an instant seasonal favorite that keeps you coming back for more all right guys okay so remember it's gonna be a cinnamon dusted donut and freshly brewed apple cider sounds good Let's hope you deliver because it is a three-way review. That's right. Kylie, you gotta wake up for this review. You gotta wake up. All right. We're gonna be doing it. Ooh, did I bump you guys? Sorry. I shook your world. We're gonna be doing it in cold brew. And thanks to Joe Jiu-Jitsu. You guys can thank him. In fact, in the comments, say thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Or more than 48 hours cold brew in the fridge. So there is no excuse. 48 hours in a cold brew. I never cold brew that long unless by mistake. This was intentional for you. 48 hours in a cold brew. So for those of you who say, why aren't you doing the apple donut first? That's why. Because I want to make it good. Right? Next, we have it in the drip. And I have it in my Haunted Mansion mug. Listen, I heard some of you guys complain about your Haunted Mansion mugs because I guess your colors weren't as good. I'm sorry. Don't hate the player. Hate the game because mine looks sweet. I love it. I think it's great. I'm sorry if yours didn't come out the way you wanted to. Uh, I'd probably be upset too, but you know what? I like it. So I got it in the drip here. And, of course, we're going to be doing it in espresso. It's a cold brew. 
drip and espresso. Before we get to the tasting, we gotta go to the sniffing. Do you wanna try the sniffing first? Oh, it looks like you do. Okay, let's see. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Oh, huge fan, huge fan, I can tell. Hu huge fan, okay, let me see. <sighs> Guys, that smells good. Okay, doesn't just smell like coffee. I am hit with cinnamon. I'm hit with donut. And I'll be damned if I can't smell apple too. So that does smell like a cinnamon apple donut. Smells really good in the bag. I will tell you, I did brew it and it didn't make the house smell like that though. So I'm a little upset by that, but man, if you could turn this into a candle, I'd get it. So if you just want to open up a bag of coffee and sniff it and you like the cover, I guess you can purchase it and be happy no matter what, right? So let's move on to the tasting. Here's the cold brew. 48 hours plus brewed, Kylo. That's right. Oh, your tail's wagging. I'm excited too. No scent. That's okay. Tasting like a boss. Is it good? Yes. Whatever flavor they're going for here, does it does it make it so it's not earthy at the end? Yes, that's true. But does it, does it succeed like peaches and stream does? It does not. It does not. Uh, the I'm not getting donut flavor. Maybe touches of cinnamon. And when it comes to the apple, all the apple flavor, assuming that's what it is. In fact, if you were to tell me this is apple cider donut, if you told me this is donut, I'd say, no, it's not. If you told me it was apple cider, I would tell you, no, it's not. If you told me it was apple cider donut, I would also say, no, it's not. It tastes like a good cup of cold brew coffee that has had the earthiness of the coffee taken out of it and the bitter, and therefore the bitterness kind of gone too because this flavoring of whatever they're using is creating a brightness, but not brightness to the point of being sour. So is it good? Yes. Does it taste like apple? No, and it doesn't taste like donut. So I'm sorry guys, for those who wanted a cold brew coffee that tastes like apple cider donut, this is not gonna be what does it for you. I'm not gonna be down. Because I told you, what did I tell you? That by the end of the night, you know, whether it be now or later, I am Roy the boss and I will have my apple flavored coffee in this life or the next. You know what, I'm having it tonight, promise. Moving on, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen, I promise. Drip, okay. Okay. The, the smell does not smell like anything that's in the bag. I'm kind of concerned because I'm getting sour notes here, guys. This is freshly brewed. I'm getting some sour notes. I'm not smelling cinnamon. I'm not smelling donut. This, if you told me this came from that, I would have said there's no, it wouldn't, but I knew it did because I did it myself. Here we go, tasting like a boss. Guys, there's like no flavor. There's no flavor here. I'm sorry for those who are getting it. Maybe you're adding something to it. That just tastes like coffee. It tastes like okay coffee. It tastes like coffee if I got it at a hotel and it was part of a continental breakfast and I drank it, I would think, well, this is pretty good coffee. This doesn't taste like the bad coffee usually. I'm not feeling it. Okay, don't worry, it's gonna happen, guys, I promise. I, I promise you guys, it's gonna happen. Wait, wait, it's gonna happen, wait. All right, espresso, here we go. On the espresso. I can smell cinnamon, I'll be damned. I think I actually smell cinnamon and apple. 
I do. I smell some. Anyway, this actually smells a little like apple pie. So far, from the aroma factor, it goes bag, espresso, I, I guess drip, and then cold brew, because cold brew didn't really have a smell at all. All right, here we go. Tasting like a bra. Bo tasting like a bra. Tasting like a boss, espresso. It tastes like a weak espresso. I'm not getting, I think, a lot like the cold brew. What's going on is it's creating brightness, not sourness. That's a welcome thing because a lot of these fruity flavors that get uh, brewed into a uh, espresso, the sour notes kick in and they really are quite unpleasant. Here, uh, here it's a lot like the caramel apple one uh, in that. It's not unpleasant, but why would I do it? Doesn't taste like apple, doesn't taste like cinnamon. Just make espresso. So uh, there's no reason for that. So this is kind of a thumbs down for me, guys. I wouldn't get it for the espresso. I, I wouldn't get it for the drip, I, unless you just want, I mean, just get a cup of coffee. For the cold brew, yes. I mean, I guess I can recommend that it's not bad. But you know what, now that I've had that, here we go. Nope, doesn't taste like apple. But I told you it's gonna happen. Oh, it's gonna happen, people. And here's how it's gonna happen right now. Here's an apple, okay? Here we go. That coffee tasted like apple. It did. Mm. Also tastes like apple, but so far this tastes better with the apple. Okay, one more. You're making me lose my mind, Bones. Nope. All right. Take this. Oh, it's pausing on me for a second. Hold on a second. Take an apple. Take your brewed apple cider donut. Okay, I could buy the apple. Drink a cold brew. Finally, today, the day after Labor Day, 2023, the boss has finally had a type of coffee that tastes like apple. So. Thanks for going on this flavor journey with me, my friends. Thank you so much. These are the fall flavors for Bones. I have some other flavors I want to try. Actually, I had some really great suggestions sent over by a friend, so that should be cool. Yes, this uh, is from All, this says All Rise, To Kill a Mockingbird, the play. Amazing, freaking loved it. Had that one actor who was in the Waltons, and uh, what's that, the movie he was in? Was he in, was he in Longmore, man? Is the Doctor? Oh, I could be wrong. No, it wasn't the Doctor, I forget. There was another movie he was in. I, I liked him a lot. Anyway, he was really good in it. So if you guys get the chance to see the play all, you know, uh, To Kill a Mockingbird, definitely go see it. Uh, just when you go, don't take apple cider donut coffee because it's going to be a letdown for you. Sorry, Bones. Just not liking it. But, guys, if you did, put it in the comments. Tell me I suck. That's fine. Say that you liked it and how you did it. That would be awesome. But I want to get all your feedback and all the flavors we've done. And hit like, hit subscribe, hit alerts because we have other reviews coming and I want this to be a community that shares. Thank you so much for your support, guys. We got like near 330 members now. How is that possible? I don't know, but I, I appreciate each and every one of you. So from Kyle and I to you, hopefully this was a fun one. Until next time, keep tasting like a boss. And you know what? Get a coffee and get yourself an apple cider donut. I should have done that. I should have brought an apple cider donut. Maybe next time. Talk to you soon. Bye.